the vibrational energy states of diatomic molecules can be modeled as energy ladders. Here we examine how chemical bond vibrational energies vary as a function of atomic mass. So the first question it asks, for the diatomic molecule IF, iodine and fluorine, the vibrational energy level spacing is 1.21 times 10 to the minus 20 joules. Calculate the partition function for IF at 1000 Kelvin. To do that, you gotta calculate the partition function, Q, which is equal to 1 over 1 minus e to the negative e beta, which would equal to 1 over 1 minus e to the negative 0.21 times 10 minus 20 joules, that's the energy for IF, over KBT, which is basically what beta equals, which is 1 over KBT. KB is the Boltzmann constant, which is 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23 joules over Kelvin. And so to figure out Q, you plug in all that numbers, and you should get 1.71. And temperature is 1,000 Kelvin. So for the second question to ask, calculate the probability that an IF molecule will be in the ground vibrational state at 1,000 Kelvin. So to calculate that, you need to calculate the probability at ground state, 0, which is equal to e to the negative e beta over q, the partition function. So beta, like we said, is 1 over kb, t. So e is negative 1.21 times 10 to the minus 20 joules over kbt. And then q we calculated there. Put that 1.71, and you should get 0 0.584 as a probability. Probability you cannot exceed 1, so this is reasonable. So to calculate the molar vibrational internal energy for IF at 1000 Kelvin, you're going to use this equation to calculate the internal energy. Avogadro's number times the energy e to the negative e over kbt over 1 minus e to the negative e kbt. And after you plug in all those values, 6.022 times 10 minus 10 to the 23 inverse moles, 1.21 times 10 minus 20 joules, and then e to the negative 1.21 times 10 to the minus 20 joules kbt over kbt. 1.21, you put the energy here as well for IF over KBT. And after you solve the top divided by the bottom, you should get 5193 joules per mole. So the units here are joules per mole. Keep an eye on that because you're finding the internal energy, the molar internal energy. So the energy level spacing for I2 is 4.24 times 10 to the minus 21 joules. So now we need to calculate the probability that an I2 molecule will be in ground vibrational state if the temperature is at 1000 Kelvin. So to do that, we need to first calculate the partition function. And to do that, you do Q equals 1 over 1 minus e to the negative e beta. And then here the energy is 4.24 times 10 minus 21 joules over KBT. Now when you solve that, you should get 3.78. And the next thing you need to do is to calculate the probability at ground state. And that would be P0. That's what you're trying to solve for. So P0, the probability at ground state, is e to the negative zero joules at ground state over kbt which is thousand kelvin over q so e so the top value here would be one this whole top value would equal to one because e to the zero is one and then q which we calculate above 3.78 so 1 over 3.78 should give you 0 0.265. Now we need to calculate the molar vibrational internal energy for I2, diatomic iodine, at 1000 Kelvin. So to do that, you need to use the same equation for molar internal energy, which is an Avogadro's number, E energy 
over kbt over 1 minus e to the negative energy kbt. I want to plug in the values here. So for energy, it's 4 point. Right here, if you see here, the energy here is 4.24 times 10 minus 21. You plug that here. And what you do is you calculate the top to be around 1877 over 0 0.264, which is this Q. And then you should get 7,100 joules per mole. That's the molar internal energy for I2. Now, what is the molar internal energy predicted by the equipartition theorem for a diatomic molecule at 1,000 Kelvin? So the equipartition principle basically states you have the internal energy at one position, and then Y, and that would be KBT over 2 plus KBT over 2. Two. So that's for a diatomic molecule. So there's two here. So to calculate that, and then you got to multiply by Avogadro's number because you want the molar vibrational energy predicted by the equipartition principle, and you should get 8,308 8, joules per mole. And so, in summary, make sure you plug in just the temperatures here and Kb, like we said, Boltzmann's constant. 1.38 times 10 minus 23 joules per Kelvin. So that's how you get joules per mole because you multiply mole here and temperature cancels. I can always check your units to make sure it makes sense. So in summary, the molar internal energy for I2 is closer to the equipartition value than IF. The terminology for IF because the vibrational energy spacing is smaller compared to KBT than in IF. So you can use this quality energy is way less than KBT.